Hey guys, welcome to another week of flower arranging with Bloom Box Co. We have a really, really, really textural and fun and funky box this week. Lots of beautiful um, yeah, Australian grown elements to play with. And um, yeah, let's get into it and take a closer look. The foliage element this week is the spinning gum uh, eucalyptus. If you are in New South Wales this week and receiving your beautiful box, there is a substitute and you will be uh, receiving the beautiful Fajoa uh, foliage, which is very similar to the spinning gum. But the spinning gum that is coming through up in New South Wales is a little bit um, juvenile. We also have our four textural floral elements that are going to be included in your box this week. We've got the Alstroemeria, which is a favourite of mine and everyone's. We've also got the uh, Rebecca, which is an, uh, one that we haven't played with before. It's also known as the Echinacea. So these little um, centre pieces usually have little purple petals around the outside. The petals never last um, for the flower or cut flower industry. So the growers always um, pinch and peel them off, leaving these gorgeous, amazing, kind of soft spiky balls. They're a real treat. We also have the apple banksias this week, which are phenomenal. They've got like gorgeous design features like the zigzag foliage, which is up the main stem and this amazing apple-like center flower, which is gorgeous. And finally, we have the lotus pod, which is like a giant shower head. <laughs> if you can see, they've got gorgeous little central um, little pods in the middle and they're a great vivid green colour. So let's take a closer look and put our arrangement together for this week. Alrighty, so let's have some fun arranging this week's box. First up, we are going to start with your foliage element. It's either the Fajoa foliage for all of the New South Wales crew, or we've got the spinning gum for down here in Victoria. You just need to do some basic conditioning. That is just a matter of stripping off some of the lower leaves, which are going to be in the water. So you just hand pluck the leaves off and give the ends a quick trim. Sometimes with the new growth at the moment, the gum just needs an added little treatment of just snipping off the juvenile buds off the top of the growth. That will just help um, sometimes they're just too young to soak up all of the water from the bottom and if you find some of the tips becoming a little bit weak just uh, snip them off. Next we're going to position in the Ostromeria which is this gorgeous um, yeah in white or cream this week. Um, just again some basic conditioning you need to give the stems a quick trim Remove any of the foliage that's going to be in the water level just by plucking it off and yeah, position it amongst the gum. Next you're going to work with the amazing Rebecca. You're going to take your stems and again give all of the stems a little trim. The foliage on Echinacea doesn't seem to last as a cut flower as we were talking about the little flower petals um, on the stem. So you just need to go through and give each of the stems um, the once over, removing any little petals or leaves that don't look amazing, but also cleaning off the bottom of the stems so that their vase, um, yeah, their vase fit, ready for arranging. Blooms. With the Banksia, depending um, on the length of your stem, there's a couple of um, tricks that you can do. You can, if you don't want it to be so tall in the vase, you can cut it just above a foliage section, just like that, and then cut down that bottom piece. But because it's got beautiful foliage still on the top, so you can actually um, pop that into your arrangement and it becomes an added um, little design element in your arrangement today. 
And then with the other beautiful apple bags here, you just want to nestle him just at the neck of the vase amongst the other flowers, just so that it's got some nice support. And finally this week, something a little bit quirky, a little bit off the normal, um, is the lotus pod. So all we have to do for the lotus pod is give it a nice little trim and then pop him in. And there you go, that's this week's lotus pod and Baxia arrangement. Have fun.